Hi, this is the Midnight Tutor. Here's a good integral, a tough integral. In fact, a, a very tough integral, which is one of those things where there's no easy way to do it. And if you know the trick, if you've seen it before, essentially, if you've seen the movie, then doing it's not such a big deal because you just have to recall that scene in the movie from your head. But the first time through, not impossible. You have to play around with it. This is one of those problems that will tax your patience. And if you spend long enough at it, you have enough tears and sweat and smudge marks and erasure marks on your paper, you'll eventually figure out the trick to do it. So we're going to go through it from A to Z and, and I'll try to show you what would cause you to want to try certain things or not try certain things. The problem is the interval will be 1 over and then it's x times the quantity, the square root of the quantity 4x plus 1. So right, the, the simple things we would want to use like letting u equal this don't really help us because we have an x here, we don't have the right components in the numerator to go along with the du term. And if we were to expand this, like we could say this is the same as the square root of 4 x, of x squared, then we'd have the square root of 4 x cubed plus x. Well, there again, it doesn't really do anything for you because you don't have the right pieces in the numerator to make a substitution. So we're going to have to try something different here and see what we can come up with. Now, it, it's always nice to get rid of things in the bottom and sometimes you have to delve delve once you get it to a reasonable le level you have to go to the book and look at the formulas or what the different options are because it's just too hard to memorize all those different formats especially for the inverse trig functions but if we can get something in the bottom here that is in that category then we can see whether it fits something that exists okay so we want to maybe try to get rid of this whole term but how are we going to do that because we can't just let a replacement for u go as it is now because there's nothing to, to go along in the numerator. But can we rewrite what's left here to sort of make the right pieces? Well, the first thing I can do here is I can always add and subtract 1 at any point and not change the value of anything. So, And I can also include parentheses within the limits of math, of course, or arithmetic at the same time. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this as 1 over and I'm going to put in parentheses here. The x I'm going to say is x in parentheses square root of 4x plus 1. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this parentheses. 